Now let us tackle the fourth question. Given that tan y is equal to root 2, where x and y are acute angles, find cos y. So for acute angles, x and y, and we're given this trigonometric ratio, tan tan y tan y so y is an angle is equal to root 2 now recall that we can rewrite root 2 as root 2 over 1 and also note that the tangent ratio you know so katoa so the tangent ratio is equal to the opposite side uh, the length of the opposite side over the adjacent side so meaning that the opposite side is root 2 and the adjacent side to the angle y the adjacent side to the acute angle y is 1 so let us represent this on a right angle triangle. So this is our right angle over here. Then we can represent our angle Y over here or here. So let's maintain this one. So the adjacent to this side is 1 and the opposite is root 2. Now from Pythagoras theorem, let's say this is the hypotenuse h, you know, the hypotenuse squared is equal to the opposite squared as the length of the adjacent squared so we have the hypotenuse squared is equal to root 2 squared is 2 then 1 squared is 1 now simplify this to get h squared is equal to 3 so we can take the positive square root of both sides to obtain h is equal to root 3. Now we have this length which is the hypotenuse to be equal to root 3, root 3 units. Now recall that the cosine of y is adjacent over hypotenuse. Therefore, cos y, cos y, cos y is equal to adjacent, which is 1, over the hypotenuse over the hypotenuse which is root 3 and don't forget to rationalize to get root 3 over 3 now we are done with them the first part of the question let us now look at the second part we were supposed to find a value of x if sign x so we have sign x
sin x is equal to 1 minus cos y. So we found cos y already. So what we need to do is just plug in that value over here. So sin x will now be equal to sin x will now be equal to 1 minus 1 minus 1 over root 3 or root 3 over 3 1 minus root 3 over 3 so sin x is equal to this expression now you can use your calculator to evaluate this we take the sine inverse of both sides to obtain x is equal to the sine inverse sine inverse sine inverse of 1 minus root 3 over 3 so you can use your calculator to evaluate this just let's shift shift to sign that will give you a sign inverse fraction and if you evaluate this you get 25.00 and to the nearest degree we have 25.0 degrees or uh, simply x is equal to 25 degrees so do not forget to subscribe to this channel so that you expect more interesting solutions to the wasi past questions now if you can still see this red thing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload you see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe